this new video, I'm Ricardo Semuticus Practicus and in this video we're gonna practice with the 6 exercise by Gary Friedrich Handel exercises for princess and let's go to the keyboard. Hey, before starting with the video, download the 100 pages free ebook of all Handel exercises I prepared for give you a better experience. In this ebook you find all the exercises with the bass alone, all the exercises on a keyboard tablature, that means you can do every exercise in writing, some tips that can be useful for doing well the exercises, and a possible realization of each exercise. Download it for free by the link in the description. Good, let's play now the exercise of this video. Uh, first of all, ask you, what's the key of this piece? And then, what's the time? The meter. Here we have a common time. Okay, this exercise is about the chromaticism of the third. As you can see, there are a lot of figures below the base. These numbers, flats and sharps, refers always to the third of the chord. What does it mean? It means that when we have a sharp or a flat alone, this flat is referred to the third of the chord. For example, if I have a, a C in the bass with a flat, this is the E flat. So it will be a an, uh, C minor chord. When I have, as in the first bar, the C with a three and then a flat, it means a chromatic movement. And this way. So let's play the first bar. Uh, if you have some difficulties in playing this chromatic sheet, you can start with uh, playing these exercises without the numbers. So only with the chord as written. In this way. And then you can add the chromatic passages. After that, we have a common cadence to A minor. So, uh, you can practice all this exercise with the other positions. So, we have started uh, with, the with, with the first position, that is with the octave in the top voice, but we can also start in the second position, so with the third in the top voice, in this way. And it is really useful to practice in all the positions. And now we can play all this exercise also in the third position, so with the fifth in the top voice, so G, C, G is a fifth, in this way. Good, nice. This passage was about a descending chromaticism. So I have uh, a passage that old musicians in the Baroque and also in the Renaissance used to call Mi Fa, because on the same note that was called corda, we have two syllables, Mi and Fa. Then Mi and Fa, <coughs> then Mi and Fa, and the semitone was always called Mi Fa. This is a particular aspect of um, the way which we the old musicians used to read music. And this is a particular rule of solmization. If you want to learn how to read music as an old musician, you can learn with the solmization super course Fa Mi et Mi Fa Istota Musica. 
In this course, you find all the techniques you need for reading the music with solmization as an old musician used to do. So if you want to learn to read music with the mindset of solmization that Handel, Bach, Palestrina, Monteverdi used to have when they was reading music, you find all this technique in the course Fami et mi fa e sota musica. So now let's go on. In the second part of this exercise, what uh, we have is the opposite. So we have a chromatic passage from fa to mi. So fa. Cadence, the final cadence. Good, you can also practice this passage in uh, all the positions. So, for example, or Good. So now let's play this exercise from the beginning. Nice! I hope this video has been useful for you and see you in the next one! Did you enjoy this video? Thank you for watching it! Do you know that there are more exclusive contents for you on my Patreon? Yes, I have a Patreon where you can support my work in making more videos like that for you and receive new exclusive contents as a thank you every week. For example, with a little subscription like a coffee a week, you can download all the didactic PDFs of my videos. Furthermore, you get the access to Improvisation Elements. Improvisation Elements is an exclusive Patreon series that consists in video tutorials for practicing improvisation at the keyboard. I upload new videos of Improvisation Elements series every week. Each video is based on a specific topic, like for example sequences, spiridiones cadences, exercises for diminution for the organ, the harpsichord, the piano, and more. For each video there is an annexed PDF, and by watching the videos of improvisation elements and downloading the PDFs, you can develop specific keyboard skills and become a better improviser. Check the link in the description to discover all the benefits you can get on my Patreon. A special heartful thanks to all those who are already my patrons for your important and priceless support. Thank you so much. And if you haven't joined my Patreon yet, we are waiting for you. You are welcome. So have a nice day and see you over it.